Uh, view mission summary. Ambling bellows. This one shouldn't be too bad. Where are you? Oh, you're close. Thank goodness. Probably want to change my battle team, though. Hmm. I don't know. I guess, I guess we can keep the nail. Probably want... Come, grab, sin for... I'm just gonna do this. Because every time I've tried to do... Status ailments, it hasn't worked, but... <laughs> We may not even need haste. We'll see. This episode, it matters. I'm gonna count on Vanille to hopefully take out the other ones. Thing where I forgot to put the shroud on. Yeah. Eh, oops. <laughs> I need this to try to be one. More goblins. I also want to say some of these might be weak to. Blizzard, so I might haste Blizzard. but it's not hurting. I think the red ones were, though. <laughs> Saz, why are you so slow? Because I'm old. I'm tougher than you thought, huh? Okay, let's head in. So if I had legendary weapons, I could uh, do three buffs at once. I could do haste and whatever, and then uh, faith or bravery, make it faster. But we're doing this tier two just to save on target time because oh my god! If you want to do this with tier three weapons, you have basically got to max out your tier three weapons, and that is so much grinding. I can't even so. I really don't want to do that. Because in order to make it match up with a decent target time, you're basically gonna max your weapons out, and that's such a pain in the goddamn ass. So, no. We will not be doing that. Okay, so here's one. Yeah, I need to do this one. Gelatin. At least these are all going to be relatively close together. <laughs> he just is like guaranteed to see me. So, let's make this go a little faster.
slapping me is not doing good for my time either. It's gonna be four. Nope. Nope, we're good. Mmm. Yep, this is good. Gurgonach. I need to sneak up on this one. There is no debate. This one is a sneak or a bust. He's the exact same one that is in the Titan's Trials, so you've got to sneak up on him. You don't have a choice. Oh, I thought... Ooh, I thought he was turning around. I remember what you beat too, just take it. Ice. I probably should have gone calm, Rav, calm. It's probably resistant to thunder, but that's all I had, so. I don't care. I bet it's the slimes. I really bet it's the slimes. Just because I did so terrible on them last time. No, it's, um... Or it's both. It could be both. At least it's easier now. I can just ride up and down. Magic's better. Nope, oh, I said magic is better, you dumb. It's that time of night, my brain's starting to go full stupid. Can't seem to get. Uh... There we go. Can't get status elements on him, so we'll do this. Do not kill me. Can we stun him like this? I hope so. If he attacks, I die. Give him time. No. Whew. Yeah, risky, but we did it. And then what time is it? 10.50? I don't know, I might do the rest tomorrow. <laughs> I am just like burning out so fast. I'm sorry. I can feel myself just like fading. Sorry about last stream. I turns out I wasn't feeling good at the end. Like I actually had a mild fever. So that explains the waffle brain. I still kind of have it. And I think it's my cold from last time. I think it's, uh, it just, I can't get over it because I don't rest enough. So. It keeps coming back to haunt me, even though it's just a mild cold. Of course, now we've also got the other thing in my area. Um, so there's that. Um, I feel a little bit better, but I don't know how long my stamina is going to hold out. So I technically feel better, but at the same time, it's like... I don't know, I'm still really tired. <laughs> That's why I said my energy might... Uh, 
I know, right? If only I could turn experience into guild, that'd be so nice. Even if it was like a fraction of the gill. No, like I feel better currently, like not great, but better. It's just like any sickness, I don't know how much longer it's gonna last. But for a lot of these later missions, you almost have to play as your synergist or saboteur in order to get the right stuff, because otherwise they'll just cast things like days. So the end goal for tonight is to maybe try and finish up the cactus as a final mission, and then we'll see if we can go for like a long gui. And if I finish up too early, which I doubt it, but if I finish up before 11, um, I might just do some on-screen trapezohedron grinding. A part of me really, too, I, I talked about um, projects in between. There's a part of me that really wants to redo Sly Cooper, just because it's one of the few LPs left on my channel where I didn't have a mic yet, so my voice is very bad, <laughs> I say, with a cold in my throat. <laughs> um, So that'd be that'd be a consideration. I'd probably do the um, the emulated version of the PS2, just because I don't know. I I, I kind of have some issues with the the PS3 version. It it kind of goofed a few things. It's kind of glitchy. Um, they completely goofed one of the bosses. Because it's a rhythm game that's out of sync. It used to be I could do that with my eyes closed, because, you know, it's just a rhythm game. You follow the prompts that you hear. They match it to the beat, but, um, they, they goofed it, and now it's out of sync, so even if I watch it, I almost have to have that muted and take my headphones out. The last time I played it, I had to take my headphones out to make it entirely visual cued. So, I don't know, I might redo that and I might do the PS2 version just because I know it doesn't have trophies, but anyway. Oh, that's why I'm still in this paradigm. Freedom from fears, Inerta. It's all the way on the Islash Massif. Are you kidding me? It's hike time. Yeah, my mic was actually a really old Canon camera. You know those little square box ones that people used to have? Yeah, um, it has a voice recording feature in it. So you can record video, but you can also like record just audio for some reason, and that's what I was using. I know, bird number three. Oh my gosh, if I screw up, I'm gonna have to come all the way back. <laughs> oh no. Because I didn't have a microphone yet, and... Um... My laptop did have a microphone in it, but for whatever reason, like, I couldn't get it to sync up with any program that I used, or it was even worse, so. So, like, I think that version of Sly Cooper is good if you haven't played it before and you just want a version, but comparing the two side by side, I just like the PS2 version so much more, and I might just prefer to upscale it myself. because it's so glitchy. Sanzaro Games um, does decent work, but at the same time, their coding methods are just so weird that you get all this bizarre glitching and just slow down where slow down not meant to be. They were also the backup team brought in for the Spiral Right Reignited Trilogy, since they had to outsource the third game to another studio, Team Bob did. So... That is where Sanzaru Games came in, and it is the third game of the Spyro Reignited Trilogy is so much glitchier than the other two. You might hear people talk about, like, oh, Spyro Reignited Trilogy is, like, super glitchy. No, the third game is super glitchy. And that's because of Sanzaru Games. Whether it was like Cooper or it was Spyro, it's just, I don't know what the heck they do. Like, how did you mess this up? 
I don't know if it's just a lack of coordination between teams. If they rush, yeah, it's probably their quality control or something. Because they know how to make games. They were in charge of making uh, stuff like, I believe, the Fort Sly Cooper game, and that turned out pretty decent, I've heard. But when they work with somebody else's code, it's... I don't know, it's like something always goes wrong. They're not unplayable, but they are notably glitchier than if Team Bob had just been able to handle it in-house. Same with Sly Cooper. Sly Cooper was never that glitchy on... PS2, even when an indie studio at the time, Sucker Punch was an indie studio, was making the games. And here's an already complete game, all you have to do is upscale it. All you have to do is upscale it and port it. And... Oh my god. <laughs> there are so many glitches. That's why I don't want to do Sly 3 on the PS3. It's because... It's unbelievably glitchy. A friend of mine is was doing it for his channel. And I, th I think it bricked his PS3. I really do. Because it quit. Amidst his recording and he had to get like two other PS3s to finish it. Uh, it deleted its own save once. I guess it froze numerous times. I had Sly 2 freeze on me during my live stream. It didn't brick my PS3, thankfully, but I'm kind of afraid to touch that. If I if I play Sly 3, I might just upscale it on the emulator, too. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm. I do not want to... Want to mess with it. I really don't. <laughs> For save scrubbing. Since I can't just hotkey it like I... Yeah, rip notes. Sometimes I write things down, and then I think I'm done with them, so I just... I delete the notepad that's all I keep it on. I don't have, like, Word or anything anymore, so I just keep it in Notepad. And... it just goes bye bye <laughs> For some reason, I, I don't instinctively save as much in Notepad as I do as, say, like, an actual Word document, but I don't have Word document anymore because they made it a freaking subscription service. Not as much as, like, when I was in college. Now I can just use something like Google Docs or OpenOffice. Which works just as well, by the way. You can save Google documents as docx. Format files. Your teacher will literally never know the difference. I know my place of employment doesn't. <laughs> oh god, it has... Oh no, it has fungi. Okay, take two with better paradigms. I kind of want to say it was weak to... It is weak to fire, okay. Gonna go into Delta Attack. Cause this way I can take out some of these Lurines. Is that all of them? No. Matador. Go, Vanille, go. that chain gauge. Boost it. I better have the gold watch equipped.
A little further, come on. I don't care if I get hit with feeding stoop because this will... Yeah, this will keep it occupied. I don't know if I ever pointed out that Saz's gun transforms. Like when he does his final combo, it turns into... An entirely different kind of gun. Lots of bomb cores, which, uh, if you are going for the Platinum Trophy, is good to have, since it's basically free synthesis. Freedom from Fear, that's the one I just did. Like, did I five-star it? Because I didn't actually look at the... <laughs> My brain is still... <laughs> I've still got sick brain. And a very mild fever, so pardon me if I'm just a tad... A tad ditzy. And back onto the like, the P playing the PS2 version instead of the remaster version. I might do that for a couple other games as well. Like I've thought about getting the remaster collections, but they're many of them are PS3 only, such as Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Dexter. And I'm gonna level with you. I don't know how much longer PS3 as a console is gonna be alive. Like I love it, but. How much longer is the hardware going to hold out? And am I just going to be buying a game that I have no way of preserving and playing? Whereas like the PS2 versions, I know for a fact. I already have them on, uh, on a hard drive. I can just boot up an emulator and I can play. Yeah, a lot of times originals are generally better than the remakes. The only thing that's really missing is trophy support, and for games that I've never played before, I don't care as much. Ah, uh, I see it's over here. He wants me down on that one. I couldn't see it behind the item markers. So things like, uh, Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, Devil May Cry, I might just do... The emulated PS2 versions. Same with like a couple other games I've been thinking about. It's like, oh, should I rebuy them to get the newer versions, like the slightly better graphic versions? And it's like, does it really matter? For example, um, Final Fantasy 3 and 4. I have the DS versions. I have backed up versions of the DS versions. But do I want to rebuy them again on Steam, even though I know the Steam version has quite a few problems, but are graphically prettier? Only if you want to support the devs more. It's the thing, I've already kind of supported them once, though. It's like, how many times do I want to rebuy the same game? Because I already bought them on physical hardware once. Like, a lot of the PS1 and PS2 games I have, yeah, I back all those up myself. I rip those myself. It's really easy to do. Uh, right. Or let's use Chrono Trigger as an example. And Chrono Trigger had just so many problems with Steam. They've patched a lot of it out. But for the longest time, the most definitive way to play Chrono Trigger was the Nintendo DS version. It had more features. It had more like cutscenes. And when they patched it over to Steam, it's like they took a lot of those features out, or they used like really weird wacky font that a lot of people didn't like. They didn't add the cutscenes. They patched a lot of the things because they said they were going to do it in stages, and they did. I don't know if they ever got around to putting the cutscenes back in. Like the 2D animated ones. So it's not like a big deal, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know if the DS version is the definitive version, even if it's not the prettiest version. Same with Mario 64. Um, I've kind of decided if I'm going to play that game, I'm going to play the uh, DS version. Just because getting the N64 version is just getting working is just ugh, frustrating. Yeah, ports can be finicky. And like, do the best graphics matter? Is my point. Like, I'm playing this in 720p. A 4K60 version exists, but I'm playing it in 720p because it's the version I have. 
Uh, Faltering Faith, Juggernaut. Oh, that's right, you're all the way in Tajin's Tower. Oh my god. We gotta go all the way to Tajin's Tower. Oy. Anyway. I guess my point is, some of these games I've bought more than once, too, and I'm just getting to a point where I don't want to keep rebuying versions of the same game. Especially since my budget is a little tight right now. Would I rather buy a version of the same game that I already have? Or would I get something different? And don't get me wrong, I love ports for the sake of more people being able to play them. I am never against a port. A lot of people right now are freaking out, like Horizon Zero Dawn came to PC, and a lot of people are freaking out about that because, oh, but I spent money on PS4. Like, you still got to play the game. You still got to play the game. Like, definitive versions can always happen at any time. There's no point in, like, waiting forever. Also, definitive versions aren't always the best versions. There are times they add stuff to a game, like with Kingdom Hearts, in my opinion, I'm actually not as big of a fan of the content that they add in. I, I kind of just like the vanilla game. So it never bothers me when stuff gets ported over. I never feel like I wasted money. Unless it was like, severely broken or something. But now I might just end up playing versions I already have if I already have certain games. Unless there's something super new added that I want. It's like, for example, um, if it adds a lot of new content, say Persona 4. If Persona 4 Golden ever got ported to anything else outside of Vita, I would absolutely get it. Because I love the Persona series and I like the new content that they often add. So if that got ported, I would absolutely play it. And if I'd already played it once on my channel, I would probably play it again because it's a game I don't mind playing twice. But for other things, I don't know. I think if I did it once, even if it didn't have like all the content, I don't know, would I, would I care too much? Like I'm not doing Pokemon's extra content just because honestly, I don't want to. <laughs> I played the base game, and that's as far as I'm going with Pokemon Sword and Shield. That's all the further I want to go. Like, oh, we're adding all this new content. I'm already level 100 at this point. I, I literally am. Is there going to be any challenge for me whatsoever? I know, I missed that too, when you just bought the whole game. Like, I know some people like DLC, but... There was a time when people really didn't approve of it either because it just... Eventually, when these consoles die too, that DLC is no longer going to be available and it's going to make it even harder to archive. I like just being able to buy like a whole disc and knowing that I have it. Thankfully, certain games like Final Fantasy, even if they have DLC... Well, newer Final Fantasies like Final Fantasy XV. It, it does have different additions that eventually get the DLC on it, so that's appreciated at least. So Final Fantasy XV the Royal Edition has almost all of the DLC. It only is missing I believe like one pack and even that's like why did you leave out one pack? Come on guys. But another reason I want to maybe do certain like Final Fantasy XIII 2 on PC is simply because I don't know if the DLC is going to be available much longer. You boot up the PS3 store right now and you get mostly just a blue screen. You can use the search feature to find things, but the PS3 store itself is mostly empty. I'm worried it's gonna be shut down soon. Like as soon as the PS5 comes out, is the PS3 store just eventually gonna disappear? I mean the Wii store did. Wii store is gone. It's not dead, but it's like almost dead. Like you boot it up and you can go into the search feature, but if you go into like 
normally when you boot it up, you would get like a featured section and, you know, games on sale and different categories. You you go into those and nothing loads. It's just a blue background. You can still go in to the search feature and buy things that way. But even with like, you know, trying to find DLC, it, it, it's kind of convoluted now. Because so much stuff is just gone. Not gone gone, but... <sighs> it's not gonna last much longer. The clock is ticking. So if I get something like 13.2, I'll probably play the PC version just because I know the DLC will likely still be on Steam. And if it isn't, I guess we're watching movie night because I can't <laughs> I can't play content I get, can't get my hands on. There's also the fact that Lord knows YouTube ruins my quality anyway, so playing with the highest highest of video specs doesn't always matter. Eventually, once you get enough subs, it does uh, change how it formats your videos, what codec it uses, which improves your quality. That's why you notice a lot of people who have the exact same equipment, if somebody has more general popularity, it's like their videos are a slightly better quality. Yeah, that's not a mistake. YouTube serves their videos on a different format through a different codec, and it is a lot prettier to save on bandwidth. I don't know if I agree with that, but... <laughs> I didn't design this pony show. Twitch doesn't compress their uploads as much, but that's also because most people don't have videos last as long on Twitch, and you can only archive to Twitch once you become an affiliate or a partner. Even then, your bitrate is usually still capped somewhat, just because whatever you're capable of streaming at. So there is him. I'm going to use a Deceptisol, and we can probably just go in as we are, for the most part. I mean, I could maybe... Smart bomb him really quick. Neil, get some debuffs. Oh god, there's no... <clears throat> yeah, bitrate is capped at 6,000 for streaming. I think it's technically 6,000 for uploading, but since its codec is way better, the quality is also usually way better. Difference being, Twitch player crashes all the damn time because it's not stable. So, there's your give and take. Take three. Let's do it right this time. Okay, that's good. Snow Snow launch. If this doesn't work out, I'll switch to Fang. I'll use the same strategy, I'll just switch to Fang. Because I might not be killing it fast enough. <laughs> because Snow is just not as strong as Fang. But we're good. We're good. And we get a Deceptisol. We got our Deceptisol back. And I have how many? Yeah, I have 31 Deceptisols, so I have plenty of Deceptisols for killing random crap. So if I have to Deceptisol everything else, I can. <laughs> it's cheap, but I can. <laughs> 